Hey guys, so I got this uh, EVGA uh, 3060 into the computer right now. I just want to see what is the hash rate on this with different algorithms. So let's uh, let's take a look into it. Yeah, by the way, uh, I still left the stickers on. No! I'm probably gonna just leave like that anyway, so. Oh well. So the, the graphic card, I have the EVGA. Uh, 3060 XC Gaming Edition. This is the product code for it. Video chipset code name. So this is the GA106-302, which is um, the LHR for the 3060. So this isn't the one that you could uh, hack through and get a little bit more mining performance on ETH. Um, there's different softwares and different pools to get into. Each software has their own percentage fee that they take away. You guys should do your own research on figuring out what, which one works best for you. So this is an interesting article. I'll put a link down in the description for this. But there's what they had done was they looked at different softwares. There is a reported hash rate when you use these softwares, but that's not actually what you're getting when you do your mining it's actually a different hash rate reported hash rate versus an like average hash rate so this is actually a pretty good one to take a look at what i'm going to be doing is looking at just t-rex and mb minor since these are the two um that i have right now download the latest one so this is the latest one here i'm going to do it on windows uh, this time around so I'm going to download that one, and then also MB Miner. My overclock is already set up right now for 3060 mining uh, Raven coin. So it's uh, 83 percentage for power, uh, core clock plus 100, and memory um, plus 1000. So I do have this running right now, and I do have hardware info on and ready. So we can take a look at it right now. Um, so this is actually one card in here and I'm, I'm also doing video on it, on it at the same time so if I scroll back a little bit when I wasn't using the video and just had the monitor off I was getting about 23, 20, um, yeah 23 to 22.8 on this but now I'm actually using the card um, so you can see it's kind of dropping it down a little bit so let's close this and let's try a different uh, coin now. This is a uh, Raven coin. So I'm going to get this virus protection thing. I'm going to dim it. I'm going to allow this device and allow this. If you don't do that, then the software does not work. Alright, so let's try ETH now. Okay, so we're starting to see some of the hash rate pop up. We're getting about 29.03 uh, mega hash for this for Ethereum. And again, this is just reported by the software. Um, it will be different when over time um, there's an actual. Um, hash rate that's not really being reported here. Alright, so let's move on to something else. Let's try Ergo. 109.7. Alright, let me let it, uh, let's let it update one more time before I shut this down and move on to the next coin. Okay, 109. Temperature is at 62 and the temperature in my basement right now is uh, 77 degrees right now. So, just keep that in mind. Alright, let's shut this down. Let's move over to the next coin. Alright, right off the bat, 32.6. Found a share already. Alright, 35.55. Temperature is actually a little bit lower on this. Well, actually, no, it's the same. For the hotspot. Alright, I'm going to let it... Give it a summary one more time and then I'll switch it over. Alright, 34, uh, 35.47 conflux. Alright, let's move on to the next one. 
Right now, I'm going to be switching over from MB minor to T-Rex man minor that I have right here. Unzip it. Alright, so let's go in the same order as before. We're going to go with um, Raven Coin first. Alright, now let's look for Raven Coin. Temperature is climbing. 67.1 before. Thermal thr throttling doesn't say. Alright, let's switch to a different coin. Let's bump this back down to 70. Negative 150. Let's go here. Let's do ETH. So at the end of this video, I'm going to have a, a chart that shows the overclocks, the hash rates, um, actually reported hash rates, not even the actual hash rate, and then the fees that are associated with those programs. Alright, we got something now. We got 30, uh, 23.4 I mean 23.94 for ETH on a 30 60. Damn, that sucks. Power consumption is uh, 129. Temperature is uh, 65.7. Yeah, so we're going 23.95 23.78 Alright, I think we've seen enough. Let's do Argo with Two miners. Ooh, okay, let's say yes. Allow it. Oh wow, that's a two percent fee on this this coin. All right, so we're getting one hundred eleven point ninety eight mega hash right now. Temperature is sixty six point eight, and we're using one hundred and forty on this. These are our overclocks again. Just let it load one more time, and then I'm gonna shut it down. 111.15. Alright, I think that's enough. Let's do a conflux and then uh, I think that'll be it. So in these batch files, by the way, I haven't been changing anything in them. So they've just been going to their default uh, settings and we're getting 41.5, 41.46. Uh, the temperature at the hotspot is 66.5. Alright, I'm gonna, let's do it one more time and then that's it. 40.65. Alright. Alright guys, so I hope that chart definitely helps you guys out on figuring out if you want to purchase this card. I believe for me and for my interests, I'm going to try to get as many as I could. Um, just because there is a way around getting a higher hash rate for ETH right now. And then this is not a bad card for uh, Raven Coin right now, so it's better to get this card, if possible, at MSRP, which is about $395, I believe, if possible. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know if you uh, you guys decide to purchase this card or not. But for me, I'm gonna try to get as many as I can. <laughs> All right, thanks, guys.